ranging from the heart, the lungs, the brain, the intestine, or even bone. Organ on a chip technology combines microelectronics and fluidics with bioprinting or cell culture to stimulate an artificial organ on a small chip device. Although still in their infancy, these laboratory benchtop models have increased the understanding of organ physiology and pathology, and it is hoped that these devices will one day facilitate personalised medicine. Conventional drug development takes an average of 10 years and millions of pounds to get from laboratory bench to market. Before a drug can undergo clinical testing in humans, regulatory agencies also require safety and toxicology quantification in animals. Although conventional animal models are well established and are the perceived industry standard, they raise several ethical concerns, require high expenditure and fail to distinguish biological difference between test species and humans. Researchers at the University of Cambridge have developed a novel miniaturised model of the gut that could potentially provide personalised insights into a patient's gut health and microbiome. The tubista, made from biocompatible and flexible polymer, acts as an artificial gut lumen. Different cell types, which make up the intestinal barrier, are cultured or seeded inside this luminal structure. This is a very skilled and time-consuming process. Fluid, containing essential nutrients, are flowed through the system using microfluidics to ensure that cells are subject to the environmental conditions akin to inside the human body. Drug candidates or supplements may also be flown through the system as a way to assess and facilitate the drug developmental process. The Tubista device has microelectronics integrated into the design to allow for characterisation of the intestinal model under healthy and toxic conditions. But another way which cells may be characterised is under the microscope. When stained with fluorescent dyes, cells can be visualised under the microscope to assess how healthy or damaged the gut model may be. Here we can see a healthy section of the gut wall seeded in the Tubista device. In the green border we see the tight junction proteins. Their job is to control the entry and exit of substances across the gut epithelial barrier. In blue we can see the nuclei of the cells and in orange the fibroblast, a cell type that forms connected tissue and provides structural support for other cells. I'm working on an in vitro model of the human intestine and the end goal is to integrate it with the human microbiome version as we want to build our version of an organ on a chip. Even if we forget all the ethical considerations around animal studies, it is still very difficult to translate data from animals to humans. This multidisciplinary aspect of my PhD is what really made me uh, decide to apply for it. The Tubista device is one example of organ on a chip technology. However, many research groups and companies are working on development of different models for organ on a chip that could one day revolutionise personalised medicine.